like I was saying in the previous video, it's a very, very different pattern this year as compared to last year. And even the year before that, there was big differences in the upper level pattern during the months of December. So like I said, a recap, we had a very significantly cool period that started early last year, late November was when the cold and the snow arrived and it stuck right through December. But bear in mind, folks, as bad as last year may have been, we didn't have much in the way of cold and snow into January and following through February and March. Back the year, the winter before, the core of the cold was in January, and then we've seen repeat periods of severe cold and snow even during the months of February and March, and that is what I believe is going to take place this year. So don't be led too quickly into believing that we're going to have a mild winter ahead just because of the pattern at the moment. Things can change very quickly in the world of weather, and I do think it's surely only a matter of time before we see that blocking starting to develop over the North Atlantic and Greenland. And as that does so, the core of the coldest air will start to bleed south. A stratospheric warming event is what I'm looking for. What that means is, like I've said in the past, is when you've got warming of the stratosphere and the upper levels, uh, the upper level environment of the atmosphere starts to warm, then that warmth transfers down to the surface and then moves southwards. And that is what produces the biggest Arctic outbreaks that we can get here in this part of the world. And it's the same for North America as well. But it looks as if we have got a fairly chilly weekend, as you know, temperatures struggling to 2 or 3 degrees in the north, 6 or 7 in the south. But as you progress through next week, you can see that ridge of high pressure starting to build into the UK Wednesday and Thursday, back into double digits the first time in perhaps a few weeks. I don't recall back to, uh, I can't remember the last time we actually went up into the 10 or 11 Celsius range here in Scotland. But this is Friday now, folks. Yes, it looks warm. Yes, it looks as if the UK has no chance of a white Christmas here. But look at here for Saturday. You've got another shot of very cold air coming in out of the northwest. So that bias towards the northwest with airflow, given the pattern overall, we don't have that blocking. But if we had a flat line jet stream flow, a zonal flow, then you would you would basically have no snow or cold any time over the past couple of weeks and over the next few weeks ahead. That zonal flow has not been existing. Therefore, we've seen a trough bias towards the North Atlantic and Greenland. That cold off Greenland has been uh, dropping into this trough. And every time we see a system push across the Atlantic, that then pulls in this cold air. And of course, we see backside snowfall across the UK. But this, folks, is Christmas Eve. And this here is a very interesting scenario. We've got the milder approaching ahead of the system. As the system pushes through, then that is our biggest chance for snowfall, both across Scotland, across Ireland as well, and as well as that, England and Wales as well. I am not ruling out the potential still for a widespread white Christmas here in the UK. Yep, you've heard it. I've said it. I, I am I'm continuing to say this, folks that I believe way back a few months ago that the last couple of days before Christmas could be crucial. We could see something develop that could produce not only uh, snarling traffic as people try and get to you know, friends and family for Christmas, but we might see an event that produces a last minute white Christmas for many across the UK, not just the northern part of the UK, but for many. This here is Christmas Day. You can see the milder air back in again. But remember, folks, this is now a week out, and uh, it's going to be a very interesting next week ahead for sure. Yes, we've got mild conditions. There's no dispute in that. We are going to see temperatures well up into the, the above normal territory. But like I've said to you, keep focusing on what we've seen so far. It's reading the pattern and seeing what potential is within the pattern that's developing. So we've got this high pressure next week, and then we've got, of course, by Friday into Saturday, that is very, very important. If you're looking for a white Christmas, 
I'm certainly looking for a white Christmas, and I've been forecasting one since the summertime, and I'm not ruling out that potential yet. Never say never uh, with the weather, and uh, certainly I will hold up my hand if there is no white Christmas across the UK. I would be surprised if we don't see a white Christmas for the majority of Scotland, that's for sure, given these models. But these models, like we all know, have been exceptionally hard to, to go by. I think the pattern overall across the hemisphere has been so so uh, you know extreme up in the upper levels. It's been very changeable. But we need to focus and keep reading the pattern that's there in front of us. And uh, we will hopefully see that region uh, starting to take place over the North Atlantic. A flip to a negative North Atlantic oscillation by...